Okay, this is a quick work example for marginal and joint entropies. I have an input X and an output Y, okay? And in both cases, the symbol set are A, B, and C. And what I have here is the joint probability table for each of the symbols. So X equals A, B, C, and Y equals A, B, C. And essentially, this is the joint probability of each of the nine possible uh, combinations. Now, you see that some of them are zero, which is great. Now, so what we have to do here is, first off, calculate the marginal probability. So what I do here is just add up the tables. Usually, I do that very quickly just to make sure that they do add up to one because lecturers do make mistakes. And sometimes you get might, might get 1.05 there by accident that the lecturer changed the number very quickly and forgot to fix things along. So the probability of Y equal A is 0 0.375, the probability of Y equal B is 0 0.375, and the probability of Y equal C is 0 0.25. And likewise for X, the inputs, the probability of uh, input equals A is 0 0.375, the probability of input B, X equal B is 0 0.125, and the probability of X equal C is 0 0.5 okay so essentially what we have to do here is calculate the joint and or the marginal entropies okay so in the case of the inputs and the outputs i gather up my probabilities there okay a b and c okay 0 0.375 0 0.125 0 0.5 and what i do here is calculate the corresponding informations now that is minus the information is minus log base two of the probability. Okay, we're, we're working in bits here, okay? So that is 1.415, uh, 3.00, and 1.00, okay? And I'll multiply the probability by the information, I get 0 0.5306, 0 0.375, and 0 0.500. Add that all up, I get 1 1.4506 bits per symbol. Okay, so that's the entropy entropy of X, which is the marginal entropy of X. Now, I do the same sort of calculation here for the outputs. I have the probabilities here of A, B, and C, okay? And what I do here is calculate the inf corresponding informations, which is, again, minus log to the base 2 of the probability. So that is... 1.415, 1.415, and 2.00. So uh, what I do here now is I calculate the probability times the information and add them all up. 0 0.5306, 0 0.5306 plus 0 0.500, and that gives us an answer of 1.5613 bits per symbol. Okay, so those are the two marginal probabilities. Okay. What I have to do here now is calculate the joint probabilities, okay? Now, just as a remark here, I'm going to do this very quickly. So let's just look at the, uh, essentially what I'm going to do here is look at my table. So, uh, and I'm going to count out all the, the different probability values in my table. So I have 0 0.125, I got three of those, four of those in fact. And I have 0 0.25 and 0 0.25, two of those. And I got four, three zeros in there, okay? So what I'm gonna do, so actually this is why uh, I'm doing here. I'm just sort of remarking on the frequency of each probability. Essentially it's to save time calculating things. Now, this is important here. So essentially what is zero or minus log the pace uh, the base two of zero. It's not exactly defined, but what we usually do is zero times that, or minus log of zero times the log of zero, we usually sort of assume, let that equal to zero. It's a sort of convention we use in information theory, okay? So that is where this comes in here, okay? So 0 0.125, so the information there is three, okay? And so three times 0 0.125 is 0 0.375, but we have four of them, 
So that is 4 times 0 0.375. So OK. And likewise, uh, the information uh, it, times the probability when it is 0 0.25 is 0 0.25 times 2, which is 0 0.5. But we have two of them there, so that's 2 by 0 0.5. OK. So the joint entropy is essentially 2.5. We just add up our entire column here, letting the zero terms have a entropy of zero and just sort of proceeding accordingly. Okay, 